What's going on, guys? Welcome back. So today I'll be showing you guys how I frame or how I identify high probability other block. Now, if you watch, you will see that there are a lot of other blocks on the charts. Now, for those of you who doesn't know what other block are, other block, other blocks are the last up candle before the down move, the last down candle before the up move. You know, there are a lot of other blocks on the chart, so we don't just start placing our trade on all of them. So what I'll be showing you guys is how I frame my high probability other block. And this may be different from how other traders identify the high probability other block, but trust me, guys, this approach is highly reliable and efficient. Now, the reason why I said this approach may be different from the way other guys frame their other block, you know, for instance, many of us know that uh, any other block that is framed within the key zone, let's, let me identify my key zone box here. So we know that any other block framed within this key zone is high probability other block. But you know what? When you go to higher time frame from daily, weekly, monthly, you agree with me that there's no way you can use key zone to frame your other block on daily time frame, weekly time frame, monthly time frame. So the way I frame my other block on lower time frame, one hour below and daily above, is a little bit different okay so in this video i'll be showing you guys how i identify other block on lower time frames that, that are very much highly reliable and how i use other block on daily weekly monthly and this approach is going to definitely work for you guys so now i'll be starting with lower time frame how i frame other block on lower time frame so basically if i want to select a high reliable or high probability other block i usually use the key zone right the key zone are the special moments in the market i've talked about key zone in the past so Normal key zone is basically from 3 a.m., 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. So any key zone, any other block that is formed within this key zone, this normal key zone, remember I'm still going to show you guys how to hide I frame high reliable other block on daily, weekly, monthly. So what I usually look at is, is the other block formed in this key zone, in this set, uh, session of the market, or formed in this uh, New York key zone. So basically every end of the day price action, like today, the price action is about to close for this day. What I do is I have to look at this current price action in combination of next day price action. So I look at this session of the market, this key zone. Is there any other block form in this key zone? Then is there another block form in this key zone? The other blocks that is formed during uh, the London opening session, for example, 3 a.m. Let's assume this is 3 a.m. candle. The other block that is formed within this opening candle of London session, that other block is very, very much powerful and highly reliable. I'm going to show you guys a sample. Another time, another other block that you are going to look at is other block that is formed by 8 a.m. in the morning, New York opening time. Everything I'm talking about is based on New York time. As an ICT student, you know that I'm dealing with New York time. So any as a 3 a.m. opening session of London session, if there is a reversal, for example, let's look at let's assume this is the current day price action, right? This is the current day price action. This is how price delivered from London session. There's expansion, and then this is retracement, London break, London session break, and then entry into New York key zone, all right? So this, all this, you know, every day is either a bullish or bearish day. So I'm using the bullish day, for example, here. Now, all this price action is just everything that took place on lower time frame during this bullish day, all right? So, Whenever price is done with daily price action, so what I usually do is mark out my other block that is formed during this key zone. Any other block formed in this key zone is very, very much highly reliable. But if it's formed during the opening session of the of the session, for example, the opening candle of the session, that is not the opening session, that other block is very, very much powerful. And I'm going to explain why that other block is very much powerful. Let's assume this, this is the opening session. This is 3 a.m. opening session of London Key Zone. This other block is very, very powerful. Then another other block I'm going to look at again is this New York Key Zone opening session, 3 8 a.m. So what I do is, let's assume this is the price action. What I will do is I will mark at the other block in preparation for the next day price action. Okay? I will mark at this other block. I will mark out this other block, all right, in preparation for the coming day price action. Now, this, all these are within the same range with this London opening session or London case of price action, all right? So what I will do is the next opening day, I'm waiting for price to find support at this other block. You know, it's going to start from Asia session. Price will definitely retrace. Then form Asia session uh, consolidation. The price had to tap into this. That's why New York Key Zone other block is. I think New York Key Zone other block is more powerful than London Key Zone other block. Although both of them are powerful, just in terms of uh, scale of preference, right? 
But definitely, whenever you see another blog on this key zone, on lower time frame, I'm focusing more on lower time frame now because I'm going to give you guys an example. And guys, if, if this video is making sense to you, I would like you guys to touch the like button. And those of you that have not subscribed to this channel, those of you that are new, you can please subscribe to this channel. All right, so let's proceed. So right now, we have already marked out the other block towards the next coming day price action. Okay, so mainly price start preparing for the next day. I'm looking forward a a confirmation pattern at this level because it doesn't just end there to identify high probability of that block. You still need confirmation, guys, which I'm going to show you guys when we start doing the example. All right, so so basically what I do in identifying on high probability other block or lower time frame is work with the key zone, right? I work with the key zone. So in terms of higher time frame, okay, before I look at higher time frame, I'm going to go to the charts and I'm give you guys an example of what I'm talking about on how to frame this other block on lower time. This thing is highly reliable. You don't need too much complex data, guys. You don't need a... Uh, uh, you don't need to look for any level of liquidity sweep before you free. No, no, no. You just need an order block from either 3 a.m. of opening session of the previous day or 8 a.m. opening uh, session of the previous day New York session key zone or London session key zone. Just 3 a.m. London session key zone, 8 a.m. Uh, 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 New York uh, session key zone. So you know what you just do is when you are when you are in that are changed with uh, 50 because I'm dealing with one hour time frame now. So if you, you you are dealing with 30 minutes, 15 minutes, 5 minutes, what you just basically need to do is just within that three, uh, two window of the market, that uh, opening session by eight, uh, 3 a.m. to 4 a.m., you just have to identify the 15 minutes per session in that time window. Right now, we'll turn off this, we'll go to the charts, and let me show you guys something. So to make things easy, guys, I use this uh, indicator to identify my key zone, all right? So um, the name of the indicator is KZ bosses. I don't know if you guys have it on your chart. I don't know if you guys have it on your chart, but so if you guys do not have it on your chart, what you just need to do is go to in under indicators, then type ICT Kizo here. You can see it Kizo bosses. Then it will appear, and then you can turn it on. These yellow bosses are my London Kizo. These green bosses are my New York Kizo. But before I just uh show you guys uh what uh, about. 3 a.m. of 8 a.m. candle, but I just want you guys to just picture this price action on one hour time frame. Let's look at all the other blood that was formed within this key zone, all right? Within all this key zone, okay? First of all, you can see this first other block here is what this price action used for the next day in New York session, right? So this London session other block is what this price action used for as support to run to the upside, okay? So, so if you look at this typical bullish day, you see that price expanded from this level. But let's look at the other block that price is, okay? If you watch, this is a bearish uh, ICT mitigation block, okay? I don't know if you guys have heard of ICT mitigation block. So price didn't use this any of these blocks here. Price didn't use it. So either you use this as a mitigation block, okay? This is ICT mitigation block, a bearish shorter block that turned into a break, uh, a breakup block. But this is not... A, but this is not a breakup block. This is a mitigation block because price is the break market structure here. All right. So price, is, if you if you see what you see that it was still formed in another key zone. All right, as a support. So what I'm trying to establish here, guys, is that any PDR is formed in this key zone, be it fair value gap, be it uh, the other block, be it uh, mitigation block, breakup block, they are very very much high reliable. I'm trying to establish that to you guys. Okay. If you watch now, price didn't use other block on this one. Price uses this. If you watch this ICT uh, table look up here, okay, table look up, it's still within this key zone, right? That's what price use as support level here, all right? If you also look at this previous day price action, you see that price traded into London, London key zone order block, although it's the same day price action anyway, but it's, it's still acted as a level of support. But if you don't want to use this one as your PDRA for support, you can just draw this in back into this table look up here. But all of them were still done what within the what key zone, all right. If you can see this level gap was formed within the key zone, all right. This level gap was formed within the key zone, and then it, it's just it's just a way of identifying high probability PDRs, okay. But majorly, I'm emphasizing on other blocks here, not just uh, not uh, about PDRs, okay. So if you watch the price, you chase, you chase back into London other block that was formed. We watch this London key zone price expanded, and then there was trace back. For New York to continue with this other block as support, price expanded. So if you watch carefully, you will observe that there are still other PDRs that was formed outside of all these key zones. For example, all this price action, 
that is outside with it. You can see th this price action are very, very weak price action because there was no momentum. If this could be a short session or close of the day. So you can't use any of these PDRs as support level, right? If you watch again this area, you can't use any of them as support level. Okay, so the one I'm trying to establish is that whenever you want to look at PDRs on lower time frame, you know we are focusing on lower time frame, but and what we're focusing majorly on this uh area is order block. You have to make sure that order block is what frame from London Kism or New York Kism. The watch price was reacting from this London Kism order block for this particular day, right? So if you watch again, you can see this ICT. Uh, uh, <laughs> that is my that remind that remind me. I told you guys about other block that was formed. Uh, by 8 a.m. and 3 a.m. This is a typical example. This is 8 a.m. other block. If you watch price expanded and created another block, and then there was a favor look up within it. Those ones are conflicts, but the major thing is that the other block of PDR is formed within this case. Zone. And if you watch, if you, see, you can see how price is respected for two days. Price came here, even when the momentum was a bullish institutional order flow, because this is a high reliable, high probability other block, you can see how price was respecting it. For this day, price traded into it and then dropped to the downside. The same day, price traded into it, dropped to the downside. Okay, so definitely, whenever you see a PDRA within these bosses, okay, within these bosses, the actually you guys have to frame these bosses just to activate your ICT key zone bosses. And then you start looking at just don't look at any other PDRAs outside the bosses, all right, for your support or uh, whatever. Now, you guys will agree that you cannot use these bosses on higher time frame. Let me go to daily time frame, okay? So, right here on daily time frame, there's no way you can use these bosses on daily time frame. There's no way you can use these other uh, key zones on daily time frame because uh, everything that, is, that has to do with key zone or session is done within the day. We call it intraday price action. So, on daily time frame, so you cannot use session as a confidence to identify high probability other block. So I want to give you guys how to identify high probability other block or high probability PDRs on this higher time frame. So let's get into it, guys. All right, guys. So let's look at how you can identify high probability other block on daily time frame, on weekly time frame, monthly time frame. Now, whatever I'm going to show you guys on this higher time frame, you can use it for the same any of these three time frame, daily, weekly, or monthly. Okay. Now you don't use session here, all right? So all right, guys. So the number one thing you need to focus on when identify high probability order block on this higher time frame is where is the origin of the move. Okay. Now I'm going to show you guys something. Origin of the move means the source of the impulse swing that broke the structure. That is the origin of the move. That is the number one thing you need to focus on when identifying high probability of that block. So, for instance, let's assume this can be a move, an impulse swing. Okay, when price is retracing, the first, the number one focus, my main focus is going to be on this origin. Okay, on this other block that is on this origin. This is my main focus. Though price can still use, that's why I did something like this. Price can still use any of these PDRs here. I'm going to show you guys how we can how we can use this one. But the main focus for me is on this origin. Okay. Then if price if there are other PDRs like Fender look up or other block within this impulse swing like this one, I'm going to use confirmation pattern to to see if price is going to use this PDRs here. But immediately price go below this PDRs if there is no confirmation pattern, then at this level I'll be looking to engage at this level. Do you know why, guys? Because Definitely, definitely, guys, whenever price comes to the origin, there's a lot of momentum that is built at this level. So there's every high probability for price to reverse and keep pushing to the upside. So I always make sure that I am focusing on the origin of the move on higher time frame because there's no other way you can, there's no other confidence you can use to identify the probability of that block or PDRs on higher time frame apart from confirmation pattern, which I'm going to show you guys. But the main thing is, the other block has to be the source of that move. Now, the source of that move does not necessarily mean that it has to be the lowest point of that impulse swing. How do I mean? Look at this move here. You can see this is a straight move from this low to this high, okay? But this is not the origin of the move, okay? Do you know why, guys? Because there's already an expansion that fade. We call it failure swing. There's already an expansion that push to the upside. We call it failure swing price. The trace back, and then this is the origin. This place is the origin of the move. Okay, 
this place is the origin of the move where price expanded and broke the structure. So this is my first major focus as my level of high probability on that block. Okay. But you know what? I do not expect price to come all the way to this origin. Okay. Because there are cases where price can come to this origin. For example, this one here. There's another block here that made this move. Okay. To push to the upside. So I was I, I may not uh, price may not necessarily have to come to this origin. That is why we use what confirmation patterns because price could use this breakout block or use another other block here. Once there's a confirmation here, guys, they will know that okay, there, there's no need for us to wait for price. But the main thing is that if you want to use any pending order, okay, for those of you that you like producing pending order, limit or limit order, just make sure that it has to build at the origin of the move, okay. Because at this point now, if the price eventually drops to the downside, then we, we cannot say, okay, there is a break in market structure. This setup has already failed us, all right? So I basically focus on the origin of the move. All right, guys, so then another thing for you to consider is if the other block we are looking at on higher time frame, and this can also be used on lower time frame too. So for higher confidence on how to select high probability other block is this. If the other block is in combination of any of the other PDRAs, for example, favor lookup, breakout block, uh, proportion block, um, any of the PDRAs, it could be mitigation block. For example, now this is a favor lookup, other block plus a favor lookup, all right? So when there's a favor lookup on this impulse swing, including the other block, this is a high probability other block. Add down daily time frame, weekly time frame, monthly time frame, or you can also use it on lower time frame. This is a high probability of that block. I'm going to give an example on the chat on the screen. Uh, uh, so again, you this is a proportion block. A proportion block is composed of another block. This is an initial other block. Then this can do not come back and mitigate this other block. This is this now become the reference point for our PDRA reference. Okay, this now this is now our point of interest. Okay, for us to come back to this level here to expand to the upside. So this is a proportion candle. Then three candle other block. There are conditions whereby you have three consecutive. So this is a three candle other block. There are conditions whereby you have three down bearish candle before the expansion to the upside. All right. So when you see something like this, you do not reference the last candle. You reference the beginning of this three down candle. For example, this this is first candle, second candle, the third candle. So you reference it. Okay. This is going to be your reference point as the other block. Okay, no not that just this one. And again, if you look at it, if you go to a time frame that is higher than this, let's assume this is occurring on daily time frame. No, let's assume this is occurring on one hour time frame. If you go to a time frame that is higher than one hour, let's assume four hour daily, this is going to be just one single other block. This is just going to be one single other block. Okay, but the reason why we reference it as, as a combination other block is because most time you can just use the mean threshold of this other block. Just measure the Fibonacci level to this point, and then this fifty percent. You reference this fifty percent, and then you reference this opening of this candle. So price can just come back, tap into it, and then expand to the upside. So this is a other block combined with an other block for beta conference. This is a proportional candle and other block combined with another other block, but not from the from the bearish side. Okay, you know this is the bearish side. But from the impulse side, okay, that's a greater, that's a very, very much big confidence. This is a proportion of other block. This is other block with the favor gap. So all these are your ingredients to identify high probability of that block. I'm going to go to the chart now. I'm showing you guys example on higher time frame, high probability of that block. So let's look at daily time frame for a start. I'm on Euro USD daily time frame. The first thing I told you guys is what the origin of the move. Okay, so let's start from current price action. So I'm on Euro USD daily time frame. Now, number one thing I told you guys is to identify high probability other block on the daily time frame, weekly time frame, monthly time frame. you not the first thing that comes to your mind is the origin of the other block of the expansion. Okay, the other block that is that originated the the origin of the expansion, the other block there is the most highly reliable and high probability other block there. For example, now this expansion, this price expanded from this level to this plate, but you guys will agree with me that this is not the origin of this expansion. The origin is from this level here to the upside. Okay, but now we're referencing this for future purposes, right? We're referencing this for future purposes, but look at, let's look at where this price expanded from, okay? 
So we have this path expanded from is this place. You can see this is the origin of this level all the way to this upside. Okay, so from this level, this is what a bearish, a bullish order block. All right, this is a bullish order block. So you can draw it out either with your rectangle tool, or definitely you can just use your or you can just use or you can just use your trend line to identify them. But what I'm mainly focusing on now is the main threshold of the other block. That is somewhere around here. Okay, so the main threshold of the other block. So you can draw it either with your rectangle too, but what I'm focusing on is the main threshold of the other block, and that is this place here. You can watch if I hover this rectangle, you see that that is the main threshold. Then if you watch, that is where price used for support or to expand from this side. Now, now let's count how many other blocks are from this level, okay? From this from this origin to this place, let's count how many other blocks that we have there. You see what I told you guys, like you have your first focus has to be at the origin. We have this other block here. We have this other block here. You can see there are a lot of numerous other blocks here, but you don't use them because why? Your first focus on higher time frame other block has to be the origin, okay? Even if you want to use other time, other uh, other block on that expansion, you have to make sure that it has to be a confirmation pattern. If I want to use a confirmation pattern on this rejection, there is no confirmation to me here for me to use as a confirmation pattern that price wants to start pushing to the upside. You can see, see it here, guys. You can see, see it here. Origin to the upside, price traded back to the other block, all right, and expanded. You can see that the examples are countless. I want you guys to go to the chart. Back test it and see what I'm talking about. See it for yourself. Go to Euro USD, go to GBP USD, go to SA USD. You see it. If, even if I have to go, if I even the current transaction of SA USD right now is saying the same thing about uh, the one I just showed you guys. All right. So you guys go back now and back test this thing. Make sure this thing you are putting into practice. And for those of you that are new to this channel that have not subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe and turn up your notification button. And I will see you guys in the next upload. Thank you guys.